Hello everyone and welcome to our class video about slope. Our learning goal is that you will be able to calculate the slope of a line when given a graph, two points, or an equation. Now this is something that you've seen before. Okay, so this is essentially a review. A review from, of what you learned in Algebra 1 about how to determine slope. Okay, graphically, the slope is rise over run. Okay, rise being how much it, the line goes up in the y direction, and the run being how much it moves in the x direction. So from a graph like this, we'll choose some easy points to read from the grid lines, such as this one and this one. Okay, so from there, I can count count on the, on the grid what the rise and the run are. So you always count from left to right. So I'll begin at the leftmost point, okay, moving down. So my rise, since I moved down, is negative. We changed by negative 2 in the y. Then moving over, we go 5 units. So my slope here is rise negative 2 over 5. Okay, negative 2 over 5 is the slope. Okay, now also numerically you might remember that the slope is y2 minus y1 which is the same as the rise by the way, that's the change in y divided by x2 minus x1. So if you can use this one if you have two coordinates. Alright, so, using the two coordinates that we had from the previous grid, this coordinate being negative 5 and 5, this coordinate being 0, 3, I can use this slope formula. Don't forget the tip about labeling your coordinates as x1, y1, x2, y2, and you just put them in the formula. So in this case we would have 3 minus 5 divided by 0 minus a negative 5. Keep in mind that subtracting a negative number actually means that you are adding. So 3 minus 5 is negative 2 divided by 0 plus 5 is 5. Oh, okay, we got the same answer as we had before. Also, if you are given the equation of a line in the form of y equals mx plus b, you can determine the slope because m stands for the slope in y equals mx plus b. So, for example, if we knew that the equation of that line on the graph was y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 3, you could readily identify the slope as being the coefficient of x right there in front of the x. Okay? So, now that we've given that a quick review, let me also remind you of the different types of slopes. Okay? A slope can be either positive, negative, zero, or undefined. A positive slope is when a line is increasing as we move from left to right. We always read a graph from left to right. A negative slope, as you might imagine, means the line is decreasing as we move from left to right. A zero slope means that the rise is zero, because zero divided by anything is still zero. Therefore, a line of zero slope is horizontal. Now, if it's the other way around, and the run is zero, that means we have a vertical line. The reason this slope is undefined is because we have some rise divided by zero. Well, you can't really divide a number by zero. So, this results in a number that is not defined or undefined. Note that some textbooks call this no slope, even though I would think that that would imply zero slope. But, however, keep in mind that there is a difference 